40 years ago, they made history. They were the first women to commission at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. Four decades later, they've returned to the same parade square for a reunion and to watch the women who followed in their footsteps. It was very different then. As I say, we were only on the parade square, I think, for about 10 minutes. It's quite emotional being here today. I can't believe it's 40 years, but it has changed out of all recognition. Um, we were the first uh, women that were commissioned at Sandhurst, 30 of us. Um, and we were thought to be very, very odd. And now, of course, it's quite normal, which is great. We weren't allowed to march on the, on the parade. We weren't allowed to uh, march around the parade square. So, so we only came on right sort of towards the end, I think. And it would have been lovely to have done the whole parade. We could have done it. I was just sat next to my platoon commander from 1984 though at the time and she was describing how she sat in the stalls and was absolutely livid for the whole parade because she'd fought the fight to get us to be allowed to march on the parade <laughs> and lost so she she spent the whole parade just being cross that we were only allowed to march on and march up the steps and not march around. In 1984 it was the Duchess of Kent who inspected them. Rosalind can be seen third from the right and says it was a royal intervention that allowed them to be on the parade at all. The late Queen is responsible for us being on the parade square 40 years ago at all because Santa did not want us to be on the parade square. Something about female feet, I don't know. And the Queen insisted. And they said, they can't march, they can't march. And the Queen said, when I was in the ATS, we had to sit up a skirt and we could march perfectly well. After the parade, there was a chance for them to meet officer cadets and swap stories. You can see the light in their eyes when they're talking to us and hearing that we're doing well and that we like it here. Um, I, it's, we're so privileged. That's literally all I can say. They are absolutely fantastic women. And hats off to anyone that came here with the battle of being a woman when you're frowned on. Do you think you'd have wanted to have come to Sandhurst in 1984 with all the restrictions at that time? No, absolutely not. I, I genuinely hats off to them because... I, I don't know really what my answer would be, but speaking to the women now, I think that it would have been a much, much more difficult situation to be in. They have been so warm and welcoming and um, uh, honouring of us and the fact that we sort of opened the door for them and what they're doing now is quite incredible. Given all of the things that you had to overcome, do you wish that you were in this cohort rather, rather than the one in 1984? Part of me does, absolutely. Um, but part of me would not have changed the fact that I, I was young then, I took the opportunity then. It was a special time, it's been marked now. So I'm so divided today. What's your message to the veterans that were here today? Well, as I said, outside on the parade, thank you for being the trailblazers. Thank you for the journey that you embarked our army upon. Uh, I hope that they're proud of you know, what we're now achieving and delivering, uh, both in terms of their legacy, but perhaps more importantly about what we are producing for the next generation of leaders and what that means for our army in the future. It took me until halfway through the parade to realise there were more women on parade than I initially thought, because they get a choice as to whether to wear trousers or skirts. So I was just counting the skirts initially, thinking, that's not very many. <laughs> but it appears like there were twice as many, so that's great. <laughs> and you didn't get the choice back then? No, absolutely not. I think it was a lot tougher for us in the sense that we were the first, but I'm under no illusion that their training isn't tough, tougher than ours was 40 years ago, because they do exactly the same as their male counterparts. What was it like when you were watching all of those women on the parade square today? I was so proud, really proud. Um, it's just wonderful what women can do now that people believed we couldn't do then and we proved them wrong. We can do it. These women paved the way for thousands of others and were clearly full of pride for those forging ahead four decades later. Sean Grescheck, Forces News, Sandhurst. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.